Hi there, Joker here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you a few new products that are available in the shop today and also a few old ones. Um, the first one is the Geostars background, then there is the Elegant Deer and the Geostars background is, um, it was designed for a 5x7 inch card uh, card base but it will not cover the whole card base, that's the nature of this pattern. Um, so I die cut it first from white cardstock and I layer it up for some extra dimension. So the video is going to be a little bit maybe confusing um, because I'm going to be preparing the backgrounds first. Um, so I'm going to be jumping from one project to the other, but I hope you can follow it. I certainly was confused when I was editing it. I don't know what I was... Uh, thinking. Um, so first one. Then I will also put together the deer, one of the deers, because I will create two, but both of them are the same, just um, different color ways. So you can add some little details from different colors, because you know that I like colorful things. You can create them as simple as you want or as um, decorated as you want. I wanted to have some folklore type of uh, elements. That's why I have those um, little leaves and flowers. And uh, yeah, those are always good. <laughs> so I'm moving on to the second one. Maybe I'm just going to uh, always mention that I'm on to a new background. Uh, here I'm adding the white die cut onto a green background first and then I am going to die cut this from a darker green here and I will add those pieces back. This is actually quite fast. Um, it's not, it doesn't take long at all but I know there are the te techniques that you can use to make this quicker. I I enjoy this process. I can't I can't help it. I'm old school. I like to take my time. So, but again, it doesn't take uh, much time anyway. So, I did not go colorful on this one. I'm just using one um, color to fill up the whole thing, and then. I'm actually I cut this out here and moved on to the next background for some reason. <laughs> on this one I am going to uh, use the or well actually one of the backgrounds. I'm going to focus on the stars and I'm uh, going to die cut them from all the colors that I have here. So the ivory color, then the two different pinks and then the greens and then I'm just going to create some pattern uh, with them. Um, actually I did not want to throw away that dark green background. Remember I created the first or well, second card sorry the one pre before this one. Um, I used the other shapes from the green background and then I'm arranging and rearranging the colors here until I finally settle on the design, on, on what I like. And so I'm making sure that I have all the five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, right? Five colors I had in these projects. Um, and then uh, once I glued these all down, I will also die cut the background again once more from white cardstock. I wanted to add a, an extra layer on top and I was not so sure about this uh, green background. So, but I did not want to have a full white here. So what I'm trying to do is um, I'm going to offset it a little bit so that there's a, a little bit of that dark green peeking through. Um, I hope you will be able to see that in the close-ups, what I mean. 
it's just a slight color popping through there like it has a shadow or something and then coming back to my card that I already created uh, or the card base that I already created and now I'm going to finish it um, again a second layer of the background to add dimension and you can add as many layers as you like uh, one or multiple it looks really good when it's it's really dimensional and now I have the same deer as before same um, I'm doing the same thing I'm, I'm just adding some foam tape so that it stands out a, a little bit more and then here I'm going to actually finish that deer um, by, and by that I mean that you will see me um, add the little flowers. I did not do that before because I'm only doing that on the card base because I want to tuck uh, some of the flowers behind the uh, antler, you know, uh, and that, so that there are some things that you can only do on the background and in fact I'm gonna uh, move on to the other card because you can see it better here the background is not busy uh, for this one I'm using the um, Pierce Christmas background dye and then the dark green cardstock and because it pops out better you will see better what I'm doing so um, that was the reason and for my sentiment, I'm using the Something Christmassy die set from last year. And I'm actually not using the uh, intricate layer on this, just the back uh, backing layer, basically. But you can still read what it says. So I thought I'd keep it sim simple. And I layered those up there. There was the red layer and some white layers uh, glued together so that it's uh, dimensional, like a chipboard. And here I'm trying to figure out how I want to arrange my flowers. I wanted as many flowers as possible, but I still wanted the antler to be visible. And then I'm going to use a few foam tapes as well, just to create a bit of a variation in depth. So yeah, that's, that's the reason. And then I'm also going to add some of the flowers behind the antler. Um, again, just so that I can add as many <laughs> as possible. And right, so th that card is uh, done. And then I'm moving back to this one. I'm actually, I, I decided to add my deer to this card instead of uh, what I originally wanted because it looked uh, too busy. It just didn't stand out. So I added some uh, stars for color in the background and um, I'm going to do the same thing with my dear S on the previous card and now for the sentiment in this case I'm using the Alpha One die set again this is also available it's a, uh, from a previous release and I created uh, these dimensional letters as before and I'm actually using my T ruler to to um, help me guide with the placement I generally you know what I noticed I generally eyeball things like this but I think that uh, background the the geostar background confused my eyes I just couldn't tell what is straight and what is not so I decided to use my ruler so again I'm going um about the flowers the same way as I did on the previous um, card. I'm using liquid glue with some and the foam tape with others to create um, a little bit more interest, I guess you could say. And for this, I used three colors uh, for the flowers. Again, just so that it's not so um, boring I guess and once uh, this is done I am basically ready with this card and I had some flowers left so I was thinking how I could I was wondering how I could use it and so I just placed them onto the ends of those 
um, branches. So um, this background, I had a bit of a headache with this one. I did not know how to finish it. But then I die cut uh, the Joy from the Gingerbread Joy uh, set that is also new. And I just used the same colors that I used on the other cards to create a, a, a colorful sentiment that still stands out from that busy background. And it still was so simple. I decided to add some red um, enamel dots. These are also available in the shop. I will not be able to tell you which color this is. I think it's uh, called Calm Red. Uh, I think the chili red is darker, which used to be my favorite, but now there's so many reds. <laughs> but I think this one is the Calm Red. Um, okay, so then the last card, super simple. I just added a red ho 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 sentiment and nothing else. And then all these cards are done. I hope I could give you some inspiration with these new die sets. I hope you like them. Um, any questions, you can always uh, drop me a message, email or uh, Instagram or here on YouTube. I am trying to answer everything. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.